could have been so much more. That he gives quality ball to the guys who can finish. Gone over from Brian Sheehan. Take him away from the Limerick man, who I think was John Milan. Lovely change of direction and change of speed. The sacrifices. Marco Reardon. Oh, the space over there for Seamus O'Carroll, and he uses his pace. They've created. Screaming for it, he's got it. Lavin, no pressure on his boot. Starting to pop up free as Limerick struggled to keep with Kerry, but a bad. Would have expected more Limerick followers here today, but it is very, very eerie silence actually throughout this game. Sheehan is three from three from place balls. A little bit of a breeze in his face, getting a bit stronger. It's a great delivery from Sheehan, but well, they're all important. But Dunica Walsh this year particularly has become a very important man for Kerry. Sheehan missed his first a couple of minutes ago, but made up for it there, and the lead grows again. Tommy Stack is the Limerick man closest to him. Dunica Walsh, the out ball again for Walsh, lets it off. Here's O'Sullivan. What a save by Scanlon. The danger's still not clear, but now it is, and a very fine save from the Limerick goalkeeper, Brian Scanlon. Well very done. moving through the gears there. Killian Young. Paul Galvin. Young continues forward. Colm Cooper. Killian Young wants it on his left boot. He's got it on his left boot. They've kicked some bad wides, but there's the cornerback showing this amazing, amazingly talented forward line how to do it. One back was there. Maintain a presence of mind and give a delightful out ball. Just a joy to watch. Ian Ryan with the free for Limerick, and they needed that. It's their first in a while. Seeks out and finds Declan O'Sullivan. Tommy Stack there with him. Brian Sheehan. Nice little trick again. O'Sullivan in after it, but the pass in over hit. Brian Scanlon. Tomas O'Shea running with him. That's Kieran O'Leary out in front of Pa Ranahan. Indeed, he's out in front of Barry Fitzpatrick. Tomas O'Shea got one with the fist earlier in the second half. It's very high, and that's a really good point from Tomas O'Shea. That ball nearly ended up in Clonliffe College. <laughs> so high and so handsome. It's a great score. Let's watch this. On the wing, hits it high. Great direction to it. Ranahan. Trying to work it that little bit closer. Kelly is there with him. Can't pick. He was dragged back there. Jer Collins there. Reardon's shot. And it goes over the top for a point. Drag back. And the fall. Ice went on as the old hamstring injury. Now that may maybe just precautionary, but I would think that Kerry would have needed a little bit more um, of a challenge and a few more questions answered in this game from Limerick. They certainly didn't get them. Point number 19, that was James O'Donoghue. Brian Sheehan, these guys assured their places. Kieran O'Leary. Only Kieran Donaghy ahead of Brian Sheehan. Owen O'Connor there with him. It's in for Donaghy. And Donaghy gets away and decides to take the point. Well, that's one for any call here in our studio. Uh, as the lad said in commentary column, it just kind of fizzled out to its inevitable finish. And it was like that, I'm afraid, probably for most of the game.
Yeah, Limerick came out after half time and gave a bit of a burst for about 10 minutes, rolled up their sleeves and got stuck in and had three or four points. But again, it just sort of was enough to uh, awaken the slumbering giant and it was business as usual for the rest of the half. What it demonstrates is basically is Kerry are in, in good health, they're, they're fit and well. Uh, they're injury to Darren O'Sullivan is going to be a serious mm. concern to them because he's probably been their best player this year. And the championship so far nearly is about who's missing as the thing from who's playing. Like Cork yeah. have to overcome the, the, the considerable yeah, lack of talent with Daniel Goulding and Kieran Sheehan and Colm O'Neill. So, you Anna know... Driscoll. <clears throat> Anna, Anna Driscoll, yeah. So, like, Kerry are in good shape and they're going to take a lot of beating. Yeah. Disrespectful to Limerick. I mean, they, they gave it their all there for, for long stages of the game. I know we pulled away near the end, but... Uh, you know, there was there was a 10-minute period there after half time. So they were right back in the game. There was only four points in it, and um, you know we felt that they'd be dangerous if they stuck with us for a long um, into the latter stages of the game because they pulled they pulled a four-point deficit out of the out of the, the fire against Wexford. So um, I thought we we, we we turned around again then after that first 10 minutes spell and came back strong and finished strong, which is good. Do you feel though that they should have even been close enough to pull it back to four four points at that stage? Sure, look, we were a small bit rusty. I thought at times that you know passes didn't go to hand and, and we were just a small bit off it, but that was understandable. We hadn't played in a month and we needed a game to get us up to, to, to match uh, fitness and match sharpness. And uh, you know, we could, of course, we could have killed it off. Declan Sullivan had a one on one with the goalie, we made a great save. But I have to compliment Limerick, they were very plucky. They never threw in the towel. Jim Donovan thundered into the game there in the second half in the middle of the field, and Stephen Kelly was always a big threat. But uh, overall, happy enough, uh, job done. If you look at Darren O'Sullivan's goal, is that the sort of things you're coaching down in um, Kerry these days? <laughs> Jesus, no. I wasn't in the script at all, no. But, um, you know, unfortunately, he, he, he tweaked the hamstring, so he's been a race against time now for the, the semi final. You say tweaked. How bad does it look at the moment? It doesn't appear to be too bad, no. So, we, you know, uh, fingers crossed now he'll come through. If you look at the defence, you were talking about passes not going to hand. A lot of those were when you were playing it out of defence in the first half in particular. Is that a worry? I should, of course it is, but look, every day we want to make a share of mistakes, but I, I just felt there was times we weren't right at the pitch of it and we needed the game to get us up to that. I don't care how much training you do, despite the fact that you know we won comprehensively, that was, that was a good pace to that game and good tackling it. So, you know, unless you're used to that, uh, then you, know, you can be a small bit off it. In the end? Uh, well, we had our chances definitely during the game. We had a couple of goal chances. We just didn't take them. Stephen Kelly's one after the upright, we, you know, about midway through the first half, didn't help us. Um, we needed to take all those chances to get into the game. All of a sudden, Darren O'Sullivan, you know, back heels into net, and it's, it's one eight. Uh, it's one eight. Uh, just there's seven or eight points in the between the teams straight away, and uh, and we just didn't get back. We didn't close the gap. We started the second half strongly. Uh, had again a couple of chances we didn't take, and Kerry just started picking off a few scores, and that was it. We just we were under pressure. You know, we're always under pressure. You know. We're, once we weren't clipping over the score, the opportunities you got, we were under pressure. Because at the start, Kerry were well on top, but you seem to get... Joanne. Yeah, back after a two-month absence. Uh, how did it feel being out there and being back at Brook Park as well, of course, to most? Oh, it was great. Uh, it's always great to, to be playing. And um, it was a long break, so I was glad to be back on, on the field today and uh, with a, a win. Uh, maybe it wasn't the toughest of games we've got, but... Um, We'll have to improve, even though we did win handy enough, we know we have to improve. The intensity wasn't there today in terms of the opposition and, and the all-round general play we had with a lot of mistakes and a lot of loose balls. So we have plenty to work on for the, for the semi-final. Yeah, when you gathered in the dressing room afterwards, what was the sort of reaction to, to what had happened and to the way you played? Oh, we know it wasn't. Uh, like it, was a, it was a tough game to prepare for. Everybody was t talking during the week that we were going to annihilate them, and uh, it wasn't the best thing to be listening to. Um, we came up to do a job, we did a job, and now we can focus on Cork. We know we still have a lot of work to do. A month was a long time to have no match. Um, Limerick were coming in with a few games under their belt. Uh, whoever we have in the next round will probably have a few games under their belt as well. So it, it's, we're glad we got the game, but we've got a little bit more work to do as well. Yeah, you talked about finding it very difficult when people are talking you up so much going into this game. You started so well and it looked like you were going to win well at the start. Did complacency begin to settle in at that stage, do you think? I don't know. I mean, we, we, we seem to do very well around the middle of the park. Uh, we seem to have a lot of ball. We seem to be just maybe some of the hand passing, some of the kick passing wasn't as sharp. Or maybe that's coming from not having games or whatever. And no matter how much training you do, there's nothing that can replace match situations. So uh, hopefully you know, it will stand to us. And we'll bring the intensity back into training and hopefully be a, a notch up on, on this in a few weeks' time. Is it a difficult preparation and a difficult game, though, to lead you into an All-Ireland semi-final? 
Uh, well, you have to play. You have to prepare the same way as you prepare for any other game. We prepared the same way we did. We came in. We, we did a job we had to do, and um, we're delighted with it. We don't know who's going to be in the semi-final, but whoever it is there, we'll have to prepare for them as as we see fit. So uh, we're just looking forward to that now. We're all looking forward to it. Well done today, Tomas. And that, of course. And congratulations today. Was it that bit easier than you had expected going into this game? Uh, maybe, maybe just a small bit, you know. Um, I think we got the goal probably at the right time. Darren's goal can just give us a bit of breathing space, and I suppose uh, gave us that bit of confidence maybe we needed, and probably dented their confidence a small bit. So I think it was a very timely goal, and maybe we chipped down with a few points after that to just to, to keep the gap between ourselves and Limerick, because as you saw last week, they came back very strong against Wexford, so we didn't want to give them that chance. What did you see of the goal at the time, Darren's goal? Um, I just saw the flick. To be honest, I couldn't believe he tried it, but. Um, I, I, to be honest, I don't think there was anything else he could do. Brian's hand pass was kind of behind him, so I think it was just he had to try and do it. And look, he's a bit of a soccer player and a bit of a rugby player, and uh, so he pulled it off. Thanks for the guy. We're going to send it into soccer aim now. I think. Oh, we look forward to it. Was um was there a lot of rustiness there for Kerry? Do you think? Yeah, I think there was a bit of rustiness. I think you know like that four week is four week layoff is always a danger and. Um, I think for us really, especially kind of just wanting to get up here and wanting to play and maybe a bit of over eagerness and, 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 and probably a bit of rustiness then led to kind of a lot of handling errors and mistakes by us. But um, it's just good to get over the line and, and to beat Limerick and get into the semi final. That's where you want to be. Handling errors and uh, quite a few shots dropping into the keeper's mm. hands, particularly in the first half. Mm, exactly, yeah. I suppose it's been 12 months since we've been up here in Crow Park and you have to kind of get used to the place again. And um, we definitely dropped a few into the keeper's hands like that. Made basic mistakes, but. Um, Look, we kept going, we kept plugging away, and, and, and now we're here on an all Ireland semi final. And, and really, that's what you want to set out at the start of the year is trying to get to these big games, and we're just looking forward to it. Were you struggling with your ankle during today? Um, I hurt it a small bit, I hurt it a small bit. I'm um, struggling a small bit with it the last few weeks, but uh, it is fine, it's fine, no thank God. Um, I got through the game fine. Well, well done, and best of luck right. in the semis. Thanks, Thanks Kieran.